Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about NBA Youngboy and Pooh Shiesty, man. So NBA Youngboy is definitely still locked up in the feds. Sad situation, man. But it looks like he's enjoying his stay there, and some say maybe a little too much. And then you got Pooh Shiesty, who took to social media to diss the ops, man. And it looks like, man, a sign of bad things to come. I'm going to keep it funky, man. I don't want this for Pooh Shiesty. I like Pooh Shiesty. I like NBA Youngboy. I like Kodak Black. For some reason, I'm in a position in the game where I like really, really am a fan of all the young cats in the game. The real wild splitters, man. Them dudes, those are the dudes I really rock with. I play on the daily, man, to keep it real, man. Now, before we get into the specifics of these two stories, man, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about NBA Youngboy, man. All right, so NBA Youngboy is locked up. I just did a story a couple of days ago where we talked about the fact that his bond got revoked. It's a done deal. His bond is not, I mean, it did not get approved by Louisiana, and he's going to be in federal lockup until his trial, man. It's, it's man, you, you, you would wish that this did not happen in this type of situation, but it is what it is. Now, there's a lot of evidence levied against NBA Youngboy. They allegedly have pictures of NBA Youngboy holding prop guns from a from a music video shoot. There's allegedly his lawyer trying to fight to see if they can get another bond hearing added for some reason. But, I mean, of course, for a reason. But, you know what I mean? It's not looking good. But on the brighter side, man, it looks like NBA Youngboy might be enjoying his stay in the feds because... He recently went online and they showcased a picture of NBA Youngboy with the homies, I want to say, and he's got his his hair is braided. Now, we'll get to that in a second, but man, it looks like in the picture, if you can see right here, that NBA Youngboy still got that signature grill on, still got that smile on his face, and still trying to take this the best way that he can, man. I cannot hold anybody back from trying to make a positive out of a negative. That's what you got to do in these situations. Anybody who's ever had a loved one who was locked up, a homeboy who got locked up, or anything like that, you get what it is and you understand, man. And to be honest, NBA Youngboy is just trying to do what he do, and it looks like he's standing on his time like a man, which everybody can respect, right? Now, the funny part is, though, the picture, man. Like, okay, he's laughing, and it's still a little awkward because, you know, of all the implications of being in jail. And I'm trying not to laugh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry all the implications of being in jail, but he's smiling all hard and he got all the homeboys by him, right? Pause. And you look at his hair and it's different, man. It looks like that somebody in there is braiding hair. I'm not saying he didn't braid his own hair, but it looks like his hair is braided. And the last time I checked, there ain't no co-ed prison. So everybody's like cracking jokes. Like, man, what in the world going on? Who braided NBA young boy's hair? Maybe he braided it himself. Who knows, man? Maybe they got dudes telling each other how to braid it or whatever. But before he went in, it was it was still on that bushy thing, you know, that the cats be rocking with the, I don't even know what to call that hairstyle. I, I, is there a name for that? That dudes rock now? It's like a almost fade box dread thing. I don't know, man. It's like five different haircuts in one. But everybody thought that was amusing. And that story started to circulate on social media, especially with the picture, man, because he's looking so happy, even though he's locked down, man. Dude is grinning from ear to ear. Okay, now more serious news. Let's talk about Pooh Shicey for a second here. Now, Pooh Shicey, you guys already know. I've done numerous videos about Pooh Shicey. I really, really rep for little dude, man. He's really out here killing the game. I'm talking about talk him on the streaming side of the game. He is killing it. Him, little dark man. Pooh Shiesty came into the rap game and, and created a storm, man. He really shook up things, and him and Fujiana proved the fact that Gucci Man is probably the best A&R ever. You know what I mean? Like, Gucci Man finds his talent, and he's 100% right 100% of the time. You know what I mean? Everybody he's even associated with has gone on to do great things. Now, Pooh Shiesty has always put himself out there as a real street dude. We've always given him that respect and those props, right? 
We've seen the video of the situation that took place in Florida where Pooh Shiesty allegedly had pulled up on the dudes or whatever. And, you know, and we've seen how that went down or whatever. Man, if you want to check that video out, check one of my old videos. I have a whole video talking about that situation. But it looks like Pooh Shiesty, man, cannot keep one foot out of, the, out of the field, man. It seems like he stays in the field still, man, because he recently went to social media and put out this post right here. Okay, so in this post, Pooh Shiesty disses his ops directly, man. And it's a little sketchy, man. But, uh, you know, what we're going to do is we're going to try to improvise a little bit because he uses some colorful language, but roll with me. He said, it be an image for these chicks, for real. Your favorite gangster, no, I'll murk him. And I think him and everybody in their gang, uh, you know what, man. Now, when I say that... It rhymes with itch, but throw the B in the front. You know what I mean? Now, I will say that Pooh Shiesty went out on the limb with this. And obviously, he's talking to somebody directly because he doesn't name names, but he makes it specific. Like, there's different things that he's talking about. So, he said it'd be an image. So, you know he's talking about a rapper. A lot of people think that he's talking about Big Boogie. And I hate to throw Big Boogie's name in it, but ever since the, uh, what is it, my dude that does the documentaries or whatever, uh, Trap, uh, trap geek or whatever everybody's been throwing big boogie's name around hopefully these dudes can come to a reasonable uh situation because i hate for either one of them to lose a chance in their career over some nonsense but poo shiesty is still showing that he is definitely definitely with getting in them streets with these cats and he's sending shots directly at their head top but when you really look at things man you gotta say hold up man poo shiesty is winning, winning right now. I'm talking about winning, winning. So at this point, like, shouldn't Gucci Man step in and say, I mean, I know Pooh Shice, he's a grown man. He's got a father of his own who rolls with him and stuff like that. He's got his crew of his own who rolls with him or whatnot. And he's got his own life to live. But at what point do you see this spiral into the wrong direction and you don't stop? Because let's put it this way, man. Pooh Shice is Gucci Man's artist, right? Big Boogie and all his crew, they're Yo Gotti's artists. You already know that situation. If you don't know, go ahead and check my last couple of videos. I hate to be doing this, feeling like I'm upselling or something like that. And I'm not. I'm not. I'm just being for real. Like, we're the kind of Cold War between Gucci Man and between, you know, Yo Gotti's crew. It's, it, it's, a, it's an interesting situation, man, to say the least. But for Pooh to be going to social media... And to be sending direct shots to his ops and pretty much daring them and threatening them and letting them know how he feels about them like that. I don't know, man. I don't, I feel certain some type of way. It's like before the King Von situation and man, knock on wood. I'm not saying that's what's going to happen to Pooh Shiesty because I'm sure he's rolling right. Right. But it's like seeing a bad situation about to come and wanting to step in before it happens. You know what I mean? Because Pooh Shiesty is a really young dude. I'm going to be honest, man. I was doing videos and talking about Pooh Shiesty and Big 30 before anybody was. Like, I, I, I absolutely, you could check anything. Like, before they even got to even close to this type of fame, right? And to be real, man, I would hate to see that this end in a horrible situation. The way I like to see Pooh Shiesty in is like the Jay-Z way, man. I want to see all these young cats in the rap game excel to be on that level man I, I i would love that man it's i would i would really really love that to be honest so if somebody could step in and man chill this out and maybe even tell him to stop posting if he's gonna be dissing the ops directly man chill dog chill you know what i mean but you know it is what it is and i understand that's who he is and sometimes when you in the field be it halfway in the field or not it is what it is that's that's, that's just life so man Regardless, I'm hoping Pooh Shiesty the best. And, man, regardless, I'm hoping anybody else on the CMG side of the game or even his ops like the, the EB Jizzle and all those cats, it, the same, man. I don't want to see anything go crazy with any of them. But I hate to see that, to be honest, man. Now, what do you guys think, man? Do you think that NBA Youngboy's picture that he took in jail looked a little weird, man, and did it make you laugh? Or what do you think about this Pooh Shiesty situation? Do you think Pooh Shiesty is doing a little bit too much on social media, knowing that he had like a top 10 hit in the country and is really getting that bag. 
Now, with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Please do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And, man, make sure you hit that notification bell. So that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace.